Hi guys, it's Przemek Hojecki here and this episode is about DALI 2. So I just got access from OpenAI and it's truly, truly a great tool to use for people who want to experiment with art, who want to create illustrations either for their own use or maybe for the startup, for the company, to accompany the content they're doing or maybe just experiment to create more art. Uh, it's really amazing. Uh, you can see the gallery down below of some of the things that people were creating. So for example, like an archer, armchair in the shape of an avocado, uh, an expressive old painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of nebula. Really great, the, the monster. Uh, you can see this uh, blue orange sliced, uh, different things like Bauhaus style painting of Marilyn Monroe, uh, high quality photo of a monkey astronaut. You can really go to different lengths using uh, different styles. You can do more realistic photos. You can do everything you can imagine. And the images can get really, really complex. Like this, a hand palm with a tree growing on top of it. Uh, things can get really, really complex. Uh, so yeah, so you, you can also submit the generated thing that you can. As you can see that the, the whole um, user interface is really easy. Uh, you can just click here and start uh, writing what you want to generate. Uh, so I could like uh, write something like uh, two cats on a skateboard uh, in a park and then maybe add something like realistic photo to indicate a style and then I just click generate wait a little bit and get the image that I want so as you can see this is really really easy to use currently the wait this is pretty long so you might wait a little bit uh, because it's super popular just as, as it was with GPT-3 uh, before the wait list was also super long uh, but the thing is really amazing it's worth the wait uh, definitely you should try it. Everyone should try it to see how much AI have progressed and how much we in general accomplish in terms of going from natural expressions to the actual images. And it's, it's nothing surprising in the end because of the constant progress, if you think about it, but on the larger scale, it's extremely exciting. And this is like one of the things I love about the AI because you have this incremental uh, incremental progress, incremental experimentation. But then if you look back, then after a couple of years, you see, wow, we went through this road and we went through this journey and basically the results we're getting right now compared to like 10 years ago, that's on another, uh, on a different level, basically. And this is the case with DALI too. The, in general, if you, especially for the people who are outside of the machine learning community, if they see things like that, they're completely mind blown. Uh, and I'm super curious about what will happen with the artists. Will they embrace that? How they will integrate that in their works? Also, how, what will happen with the designers for different like companies, logos, and, and so on? It's probably the same kind of discussion that we would have with GPT. Uh, so what, what exactly will happen with uh, uh, user-generated text? Uh, how will the marketers, SEO experts use the generated text for their own benefit? Yeah, so that's it. Uh, you can go to labs.openai.com uh, and then apply for the, uh, for the wait list over there. Uh, and, and start using it where, where, when you get the, the place on the wait list. So, Highly recommend it. It's a really, really amazing tool. I probably will show you some of the creations later on uh, in another video. For now, uh, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like down below and see you in the next episode.